Lucio, everyone. Um, this is Oracle Wuffing in post-processing mode. I'm really sorry about what the audio did last video. I honestly have no idea what happened. Um, I'm actually recording this with the exact same audio settings as I did the previous version. And uh, it, as far as what I can tell, the testing issue is not working. So what I'm going to be doing for these next few in-game days is my commentary is basically going to be me uh, speaking. Uh, I, I'm going to be listening to my uh, weirdly distorted voice. And I will go ahead and try to repeat the stuff that I said. I know that's going to be a little bit lame, but uh, you were already watching Oracle of Luffing, so what'd you expect? Um, <laughs> so uh, go ahead, uh, sit back. Uh, hopefully the audio settings will be sorted out. And I, I'm going to, I mean, the footage has already been recorded. I can't really go back and replay it. So... Um, once we get caught up to as far ahead as I've already recorded, it's five or six in-game days, uh, we'll go ahead and hopefully switch back to live commentary. That's going to be easier on me, and uh, it's going to be the same for you. So, uh, with that said, let's go ahead and queue up the footage, and let's get going. So... While I was uh, going around here, I expanded the house, and there was a creeper all this time, just a couple of blocks away, and by a couple I mean maybe 20 or 30. So that just goes ahead and tells me exactly where I do not want to go. And I'm embarking on the dawn of the second day. Stuff is already burning for me. Now, um... We got a lot of resources just from the knife crazy thing, but that was mostly for the house. So what I'm going to do now is gather up rocks, and I also need to get some food to put together. And of course I'm aware of the zombies, so I have that axe in my hotbar, but I'm just going to sit by and... Yeah. One of the unfortunate things is, A, that zombie didn't leave me any food, which is something that I was looking for right now. And B, um, it's actually a good idea to build up experience because it also decreases the amount of... Uh, it, it basically makes your food and water last longer. So I just went ahead and I remembered that I had seeds here. So we have garlic... So we can be like Wario or something, and we have cabbage seeds for growing babies, because that's how babies are born. Um, I mentioned earlier that uh, experience lets your food and water last longer. Uh, your food bar is the green meter, the blue bar is the water meter. Uh, this early in the game, the way you regenerate your water is just by swimming around in water. It's not very fast at replenishing your water, uh, amazingly. I, you'd think if you were swimming around in water that was drinkable. Why, why is ocean water drinkable? I have no, no idea why that works. But, um... I remember from the first day just going knife crazy everywhere that we saw some plants that we could uh, pick up. I believe they were bell peppers. Um, now I'm scolding myself for sucking at drinking because, honestly, I... Speaking of sucking... Uh, Remember when I said that uh, Terra Firma Craft would crash within the first couple of moments of play? That's what happened. So now I need to cut this audio again, and I will uh, see you when I have the video restarted. And we are back from fighting Crash Man. Um, just to establish what we were doing before I crashed, we needed food, rocks, sticks, not necessarily in that order. Uh, we also need some clay. 
And here's the plants I saw earlier. Uh, you right click on them to pick them. They are bell peppers. If you're hungry, you eat a bell pepper. Uh, if you want to eat something else, no, eat a bell pepper. Uh, and if you want to eat bell pepper, try having a bell pepper. Um, the food bar actually has a little uh, light uh, glow or shadow where it tells you how much your get how much fullness they'll give you. Bell peppers aren't much, but uh, beggars can't be choosy. Uh, with these bell peppers, one thing that I found later on is the red plants are when they are ripe. Uh, green, which is more what I like, but um, I mean, in real life, I like green ones, but uh, they consider red and yellow to be ripe. And here I found some clay, so I'm going to go mine clay. People told me to mine clay, so I'm going to go mine clay. I am mining clay right now. Look at this. I am mining clay just exactly why I'm doing as I'm told. Do 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 da 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 do 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 do. I'm kind of a little bit amazed that this isn't some sort of a cave in because I know dirt rolls downhill. I do know there are cave in mechanics, but I think that happens more when you're digging tunnels. Tunnel digging, I believe, will happen much later. Don't ask me how that grass block uh, got grass on it, but uh, I'm not going to argue as long as I get my clay. I am mining more clay because that is what I need to do. Clay, um, I didn't know it when I started this, but clay is actually <laughs> something that you will use quite a bit of while you're getting started off. I'm cut <laughs> and... I mean, the preview that I had on this, uh, a couple of people were playing around and they could not find clay. And now I'm understanding how big of a problem that is. I am very lucky to be this close to clay. So... I'm still waiting for that bell pepper plant to mature. Um... Gonna get some more wood. Uh, the way trees work is, uh, of course, you can walk through leaves. If breaking the leaves is the only way to get sticks, um, there will, on fruit trees, which are nowhere near my area, there will be little branch blocks, and those will give you fruit. Um, as you might have seen in my teaser video, uh, you cannot punch wood. Punching wood will not break it. You need to use an axe, and the axe already has a built-in lumbering effect, and it will cut down all of the trees. Um, well, not all the trees, but that one tree, but it will cut it all down. That will get you logs, but I, it will not get you as many sticks. So decide whether you need logs or... If you need sticks, if you want to do things quickly, whatever. You don't get sticks from getting planks. You get logs from punch from uh, knocking down wood. The logs, you need to use a saw, which we will not have for quite some time, to turn into planks. And then those planks get turned into plank blocks. One of the things Terra Firma Craft does, which is kind of cool, is you can just place certain items right there in the world in a pile. And we will actually be revisiting that in a, about an in-game week when I demonstrate a couple of other tools that will require you to place blocks or items like they were a block. I'm trying to keep, at this time, I'm trying to keep all of my saplings the same kind because I'm going to try to regrow these near my house. Each tree actually has different stats. Uh, some wood burns uh, both hotter or longer than other woods. I honestly do not have a head for the different qualities of wood. I am, I am not an arborist. And 
when people start talking about how certain wood burns differently or smokes differently, I'm like, I completely tuned that out. As far as I'm concerned, fire is fire. So now that we're, we've got a good number of logs here, we want to get more rocks. Hey, 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 guys, 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 I, I want to get more rocks. Let me show you my rock collection. This, this rock is sedimentary. This, this, this rock is igneous, but it's not ingenious. <laughs> Now, a little bonus to uh, collecting rocks, though, is that you get those tiny little, uh, what in this case, tetrahedrites. The tetrahedrite turns into tin. I think I said copper earlier on there. And tin, copper, and bronze can be smelted while you're working on ceramic stuff. So you will get a little bit of a head start on things. Well, you'll basically start working on getting metals while you're also getting rocks. Shut up, Oracle. You make this sound too complicated. That's something I actually said there. I'm, I'm preemptively shutting up myself. There's, oh, we got seeds. What seeds? They were barley. We could make barley plants. I live in Nebraska. We have corn. Actually, yeah, corn is in this game. I would like to start growing some, but uh, good luck finding it, Oracle. I'm now re recognizing that the sun is setting, so it's going to be a race to get home. Will I get home in time? Of course I will. Those, I, I still don't know what those yellow plants are. I hope, I was hoping there was something edible, but they don't punch like normal plants. So I'm thinking there's something else. Uh, you need 10 tetrahedrite, which is like mini tin in order to make one tin ingot. But, um, is it tin or is it copper? Dang it. Now, now I'm, gah. Wow, I really suck at remembering things. Uh, you need 10 of those to make one ingot, and that might sound like a really lame trade-off, um, but uh, ores still exist. You still get 10 ores. And additionally, most of your tool components will use only one ingot instead of three because they're crafted completely differently. So... Even though I'm stuck at home, we can still show off some of the other stuff I can make. Um, I'm Right now I'm just making some javelins and derp, 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 so now I'm trying to figure out how I can sal salvage this mess up. So, as like everything else, uh, you can always use more knives. So I made a new knife. This one cuts Julian fries. And I'm still being a derp trying to put those together. The pointy part goes towards your enemy, so it needs to be at the top. I will not be able to work that rawhide for quite some while. Rawhide! But, um, and it, in fact, it will be at least five days because I have not started working on that. Um, the good news is I can turn it into in armor with only one piece, but I don't know what armor I'll be making it. 
Now I'm trying to leave myself a window here because I need to know when sun setting and when it's sun rising. I guess I'm just really uh, obnoxiously superstitious about working in the night at Minecraft and this being on hard mode is not going to help that. But I guess it's just a better safe than sorry mentality and I should really get those barley seeds planted tomorrow. The sooner they plant, the sooner I can have food. And this, this is how you work clay. Um, I took several clay courses because the other alternative was to take more semesters of college. Uh, this here is a clay jug. Uh, eventually we will burn it and it will become a little container for water. And then we will be able to fill our water meters really fast. Of course, I'm a horrible derp at working with clay. So if you mess up with clay, you lose both your clay. As I've demonstrated twice now. So since I suck at making jugs, I will make vessels. Vessels are like uh, not fun at all sized treasure chests. They can hold very tiny items. Uh, they can also hold some of the uh, mini zinc copper thingies we found earlier. And when you uh, fire clay stuff, uh, you want to have four things because you can fire four things using the same resources as it takes to fire one thing. Of course, this doesn't help me much because it's still night, so I'm just going to fuddle around more with clay. Uh, what we need for our wood planks, or wood logs, we'll need to make a saw to make those into individual planks. And if I don't die, we'll be smelting even more things, so I figure I'll just go ahead and make another jug. I don't think I will have many resources, but I figure I will eventually invest in a sword. So we make a sword mold here. And since we're going to be cutting lots of wood, uh, well, let's go ahead and make an axe mold as well. So now we have a multiple of four still. Uh, all of these molds and all of the clay items can't use them. They are completely worthless unless you fire them. And cooking them is very special. It's akin to raku firing if you're still working ceramics like a caveman of some sort. <laughs> Ceramics are weird. Um, however, since we can't start the clay fire, we're going to completely ignore making a fire pit and we are returning into tidying up the house. So I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more room to work with, uh, just uh, just in case a creeper comes along, and uh, ju just in case a creeper comes along, I'm just gonna knock down part of my house and get that one block because I cannot replace it right now in my inventory, and I will go ahead and just establish a rock perimeter around my house. Um, and I will also screw myself over here because that one falls out. And when I'm trying to place a new block, yeah, I do not have a pick. So I cannot pick up that block except by punching it. And of course, punching it will take a number of minutes for it to collapse back into a block that I can put in my inventory. Now, remember what I said about uh, trees having different stats? There are different kinds of rocks, too. And again, 
I do not have a head for that sort of thing. Um, I do know that some of those are important, though. There are some rocks. Uh, some rocks will only produce items that you will need to, for example, uh, make that rawhide rawhide into an actual uh, armor piece. But I know it's not that particular uh, rock. Uh, I'll be examining some of the rocky outcroppings sometime down the line here, and hopefully one of those will give me a break and we'll be able to actually make something with items we have. And now I'm trying to figure out how to jump. So we just have a little rounded hut now. Well, rounded on most of the sides. I'm still working on this other side. Again, you might have noticed that I do not have sheep anywhere near spawn. Uh, beds are something you have to work a lot for, for terra firma craft. And I believe there is something in their uh, message board log change request thingies that there should be an earlier access bed. What they were thinking, what, what at least I was reading, I uh, was going to say that it would be a straw bed that lets you uh, sleep and not have mobs spawn, but it wouldn't actually um, advance the day, which kind of ruins the whole point of having a bed in single player. Now, my plan with the clay is I'm going to start that early on in the morning here. Because it's going to take a while for that to cook. Anyone else work ceramics here? So that's going to be the end of this day and the beginning of a new day. And tomorrow we will be figuring out where we want to put this clay.